Hey, what's up guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Wear Testers. And today we have a quick look at the Jordan Eclipse. This is a model that I've been super interested in, but I've been waiting patiently for the right colorway, and this was it. This is the University black and white colorway. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so here they are. Just a quick look. This is with the stuffing in the toe. They look quite a bit different without the stuffing in them. Uh, they look pretty flimsy without it. And this is what I mean by that. Kind of reminds me of a duck, like a duck bill. Uh, almost like like Donald Duck or whatever Daffy Duck, but the back portion here basically from everything from where you see piping on back is Nice and structured not to the point to where it's too stiff um, As you can see it's nice and flexible, but it's got just enough structure in there to kind of uh, Hold its shape a little bit better than something like say the Roshi run or I'm sorry the Roshi one because they changed the name for some weird reason Now this is another Jordan brand lifestyle shoe. This is not a performance model whatsoever What they've done is taken certain inspiration from past basketball models and then incorporated into a very casual and lifestyle looking sneaker dubbed the Jordan Eclipse So you can see the midsole is very reminiscent of the Air Jordan 3 as is the back And then you have the neoprene tongue which we've seen on everything from the Air Jordan 6 all the way through the Air Jordan 8. Now the midsole and outsole is all one piece much like the Roshi but this has some tread on there again inspired by basketball. Unlike the Roshi these have real cushion in them so not only do we have I think this is a phylite midsole outsole but we also have a zoom unit right in the heel so I think that's really cool. And then we also have an ortholite insole for some step and comfort. There are some reflective details on these. All of the piping that you'll see all the way around the shoe is reflective as is the strip on the tongue as well as the aglets that are on here and they're nothing special it is literally like just their normal plastic aglet but behind it they've got some reflective material which kind of sets them off makes them look a lot cooler in my opinion in comparison to just a normal you know typical aglet that you'd see in any other lace again just a little bit more structure you can see that in the back of the shoe where there's just a uh, quite a bit of foam padding here it kind of cuts your heel and your Achilles area much nicer than Roshi run or Roshi run whatever the hell they're called and that's literally all there is to it as far as sizing goes You could go down half a size. I tried on an eight and a half and they fit really well My toes were at the edge, but they fit perfect with no pinching or anything because of the fact that it is a woven upper I did go with my regular size nine though just because they kind of felt almost the same my toes not quite at the edge There's a tiny bit of space like they're supposed to be but other than that that's pretty much the sizing. I do not think that wide footers are going to have to go up half a size just because this area is going to stretch just a tiny bit. So one more quick look. Retail on these guys, 110. So if you are interested, they are available now at pretty much every single Jordan brand retailer. That includes Champs, Finish Line, Foot Locker, East Bay, Chic Shoes, and Shoe Palace. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.